All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G out here freezing in my cross out garage. Bring you another in our series of explaining real life things in cross out. And today's episode brings us to the railgun. That's right, we're getting a new legendary railgun teased uh, in the latest. Uh, Devblock, looks like we're going to be getting that battle pass on February 11th. Big thank you to one of the mods for letting me know when that's going to be happening. Um, but let's talk about railguns. Now, the Scorpion looks a lot more like a realistic railgun because a railgun comes from the word rails, right? They need to have two rails. And the properties of a railgun are essentially they're two oppositely charged rails, which run positive current through one, negative through the other. And then they have an object in the middle, which is going to be your ordnance or your ammunition, which is usually like a steel dart. And that different polarity and charges is going to slingshot that dart down the rails. Um, for hundreds of years, we've used uh, chemical propellant, aka gunpowder or explosives, to move projectiles. The rail gun is the first one that uses really electromagnetism to move a projectile at ridiculous speeds and ridiculous velocity. Um, one of the biggest bonuses to railguns is that they don't have to carry explosive, uh, explosive propellant. So the Navy's been working on one for a long time and they've got a prototype that's working. Um, and one of the biggest advantages for the Navy is they don't have to carry around that explosive propellant on the ship. Another one of the biggest advantages is simply muzzle velocity. The muzzle velocity of gunpowder projectile is approximately 4,000 feet per second or 1,219 meters per second. Whereas we're learning about a rail gun, Younger G, and you've once again stumbled into another recording. A rail gun is a futuristic electromagnetic powered weapon which shoots something at ridiculously high speeds. So the rail gun can actually shoot something at up to 52,493 feet per second or 16,000 meters per second. So currently the Navy's maximum gun range is 12 miles. A rail gun can hit a hard target 250 miles away in six minutes. That's insane. As well as the armor penetration is insane. So hopefully Tarjum gives this weapon extremely good projectile velocity with almost Dad, no projectile drop. In. Yes, baby G. That's talking to you. Yes. What do you need? Nothing? No? And I'll tell you. What do you need to tell me? Um, Beck, like, um, pushed him with his head on my elbow and he hurt. Her. Just pain. Okay. Tell you it said. really hurt bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you guys both okay? Nobody's bleeding to death? Nope, not mm -hmm. bleeding. Okay. Well, one of the biggest drawbacks, of course, to a railgun <laughs> is simply how much energy they require to use, as well as the fact that railguns eventually tear themselves apart over time simply due to those ne oppositely charged positive negative polarity within the rails do tear them up over time well as you can see i have some dadding i need to do uh younger G baby g the camera's here it's this one. baby g it's that one you got it you, they can't see it come here come here all right. there's all right wave say goodbye to the internet bye, bye internet the g unit out bye.